Hey, uh, good evening, uh, everyone. It's a wonderful day for the Disneyland Media today because we are receiving in our premises in Brussels a friend, his uh, Edward, who is um, Hi. Uh, a wine grower from a wonderful and famous region of Italy, from Monteforte d'Alba. Yes, from Monteforte d'Alba, in particular, in a locality that is called Perno. Hello, uh, thank you very much for to come to us and to explain your wine. So I'm going to ask you some some little questions so you can uh, explain first, uh, speak maybe, you can speak about your your region and then your wines. Yes, of course. I came from a Barolo area that it's inside the Lange area in Piedmont, Italy. And it's a red region that it's famous for uh, at first uh, uh, the red grape, uh, in particular Nebbiolo grapes. Uh, that uh, in Italian language means uh, foggy wine because uh, when you made the harvest it's uh, this period so mm. in Langa it's the foggy period and uh, from Nebbiolo we uh, made two different kind of wine the first it's Langa Nebbiolo See? It's, pro uh, produced it's a bigger region than, yes it's produced inside Barolo, Barolo area yeah. outside Barolo area okay. in Langa area and Barolo that is made only from Barolo area. And how so many how many towns and cities and villages are there into? Is this a big area? No, it's not too much big. It's the, uh, less than 10. In fact, the most important uh, villages that we had are Barolo, of course, sì. Monforte d'Alba, La Morra, Monf uh, Serra Lunga d'Alba, and uh, Castiglione Falletto, where we had the vineyards. Okay, and what about the grape? How is the... What's, how does it behave, the, 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 um, the Nebbiolo? The Nebbiolo in Barolo era, uh, there are two, three different kinds of Nebbiolo. Lampia, Rosé and Michette. Uh, these three varieties are very, very typical of uh, there. And we made our Barolo from all these three kinds. Uh, are different in the vineyards and you also can see because, uh, for example, one is bigger than the other, the Lampia, and the Rosé is a little bit... A uh, little grape and also. Yeah. Well, you make rose also? No, no, no rose is the uh, name of the grape. Okay, uh, okay. But uh, it's not rose. Okay, it's always red. Yes. When you speak every, about Barolo, it's, it's always red, red wine. Red wine the and DOCG dry wine. is for red wine. Yes, red wine, dry wine that at least have uh, 24 months on uh, oak aging yeah. and uh, it's uh, start to sell after the fourth year. So, for example, 2011, uh, it's start to sell in the January of uh, yeah. 2015. Uh, we, for example, prefer to aging more Barolo. In fact, we made the two years of a big oak, like in the traditional way, uh, yeah. in, with Slavonian yeah. oak that came mm -hmm. from Slovenia. And the uh, other, it's uh, one here in a concrete. Mm -hmm. uh, we find out that for us it's important uh, this period in the concrete because help uh, the wine to aging and prepare to be barling. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, we can produce wine today like in the past but with more knowledge for mm -hmm. example uh, what we're looking for is to uh, have a uh, wine that is more natural possible yeah and also it's uh, a pleasure to share with your friends absolutely um say me what are the characteristics of a barolo which uh, kind of wine is it it's a wine that at first uh, when you sow yeah. Uh, it's not like Merlot that have a uh, very deep color. Yeah. It's uh, like a brick color. So yeah. not too much uh, red and uh, deep. After, when you smell it, uh, for example, in Lange Nebbiolo, you feel more fruit. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, depends from which kind of crew it came, from which kind of menzione. Yeah. Uh, you, for example, Howard, it's made from three different uh, villages, from three di different uh, crew. Uh, have the characteristics, for example, of the menthol, uh, of the balsamic, uh, also some spicy uh, that arrive directly not from the oak but from the terroir. Because, and how, uh, how do they evolve when they become a bit older, after five years, ten years? I think that uh, uh, older for Barolo after five years it's uh, it's not correct because it's, it's young. Yeah, uh, Barolo you can age there for twenty, thirty. 40 years old and every time that you taste is something that it's Different. amazing yeah it's uh, give you something more when you but when Barolo uh, it's aging uh, you can find the wine that become every time 
more sweeter with the tannins. Mm -hmm. It's not like when uh, you have a young wine that it's... Uh, the uh, tannins go a bit away. Yes. And you have a transformation in, let's say, um, secondary tastes like uh, um, sottobosco. Yes, of that we say in Italian, or like uh, mushrooms. Yes, of course, and also uh, coca, co cacao. Yeah. Uh, or, uh, for example, um, also uh, when you taste, you uh, every time that you aging, yeah. become more uh, thin wine. Yeah. Is uh, when he's young, is like a young man, strong, yeah. uh, that can do everything. Also, you can marry with every food. Yeah, yeah. And when become it older. becomes different. Yes. For example, I really enjoy to uh, drink a Barolo, old Barolo with the cheese. Yeah. Because uh, uh, you can marry better than a young. With also all the cheese, probably. Yes, yes, of course. Parmigiano? Yes, but also in Piedmont we have a, a lot of typical... Gran Padano? Uh, yes, we prefer Toma. Toma. Yes, or like we call Tuma. Mm -hmm. Or uh, some... Uh, some other cheese that came from Bra, or also some other cheese from the hubs, like uh, Bettelmatt, that it's uh, made from uh, 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 from cow, only in three months during the year. Uh, this kind of uh, cheese, I think, that uh, can bear, can marry well with mm -hmm. the old, food, old Barolo. And also for wild for game, like uh, Dia, like... Uh, yes, but yeah. there you need a young Barolo, like for example... A young Barolo, have, yes. Uh, because it's stronger. Yes, for example, after when we will taste, you will find out that uh, it's a kind of Barolo where, that it's thin, drinkable, with a good acidity, so yeah. the acidity help uh, to for drink... For a and, for example. It's yes, stuff. and also... It hasn't to be too old. As a, uh, depends what you marry. Yeah. Uh, I, for example, with deer, with uh, uh, wild meat, mm, it's yeah, yeah. very young, I think. Yeah. Okay, very important to know. Well, thank you so much, Eduardo. Thank no. you to come to us. Thanks and to thank you. you for your wonderful explanation of your wines and the Barolo region. Thanks very much.